Yeah, yeah, I'm fine, love. Just thought I'd sit up here for a while. God, what I wouldn't give to hear how Michael thrashing this thing again. Doing his Rolling Stones impressions. Maxi Farnham moaning about the noise, eh? Good old days, eh? Yeah. I'm dreaming, aren't I? Ron? We'll get him home. Don't hold your breath, T. Ron! How could they do it, eh? Let her go before Michael. It's bloody criminal, the daughter of a well-known drug dealer, and she just walks free, and our Michael's left to carry the can. Oh, come on, love. Well, yeah, they'll be lapping her up over the road, won't they, eh? Well, they'll be all over it. Ah, Lindsay this, ah, Lindsay that. They won't give a second thought for our Michael. He can rot in hell for all they care. Please, Ron. I know, I'm sorry, Dave. It's just the more I think of that lot over there. Ron, are you up there? We're in here. It's the phone for you. Who is it? It's the MP, James Payne. He wants to talk to your agent. Morning, my sweet. How's all it? Still asleep. Thought I'd leave it a bit longer. Nice one. She could do with a bit of a lie, eh? Are you doing what I think you're doing? I certainly am. Hey, what do you reckon? Premium pork sausage, best bacon, black pudding, baked beans, and topped off with a little bit of scramble. It's my own special recipe, this. Your own recipe? You've never made scrambled egg in your life. Yeah, well, first time for everything, isn't it, right? Besides, special occasion. Celebrating our little girl coming home. That's, that's so awful of you, Jimmy, but I mean, she thinks she's going to stay with the top, do you? Yeah, she needs building up, doesn't she? A couple of months of chop suey chow man, give it a decent fry up. No, I don't mean that. I mean all this, you know, making a big fuss. Yeah, well, that's the idea, isn't it? Is this? Yeah. Complete waste of time. Oh, what's going on? Well, what are you doing? I'm going around the flaming bend. That's what I'm doing. It's for our Michael. Yeah, the fat lot of good at dinner and all. James Payne calls himself an MP. It's done nothing for us. Well, what did he say? What's happening? Payne's been on to the Thai embassy about Michael. God. What did they say? Oh, look, Ron, you calm down and tell us. They can't help us anymore. They've done all they can. Oh, God. It's over. That's it. We've lost him. Oh, God. Oh, Ron. Oh, Michael's never going to see the light of day again. Come on, guys. Finish your breakfast with Daddy. There. Sit Dad? Can I have some more juice, please? Yeah, of course you can, Sam. Come on, you two. We're going to be all day at this rate. Well, there's no rush, is there? Well, we have got a ferry to catch. Well, why don't you get a later one? This is the only crossing we could get. Everything else was booked up. Well, I thought we could all go out for lunch, you know, have a pizza, you know, how much the kids love Max, that. please. God knows when I'll see you again. It's France we're going to, not the other side of the world. Well, it might as well be the other side of the world. Max, please, don't make this any harder than it already is. Just... You and the kids, you should be here with me. Max, we decided. I know, but now it's happening. I mean, God, surely we can work something out. I can't bear to see you all leaving me like this. Hi, Dad. Morning. I see the car's all packed. Yeah, everything's ready. So you and the children really are leaving? Yeah, as soon as the kids have washed their faces, then, um... We're off to France. Go on, Lens, get stuck in, kid. Thanks, Dad, but I don't want it. Are you know wrong, Bruno? Just can't face it. <sighs> Should have known. No more. The egg. Our Lindsay likes those fried, sunny side up. Do you another one, love? Dad. That's OK, don't worry, fat's a lot. Dad, I don't want another egg. You are? Will you just sit down and stop fussing, please? Dad's just trying to make you feel his own, love. I shouldn't even be here. Don't be saying that. Of course you should, love. Yeah, this is your home. Love where you belong. And what about Mike? Do what? I just don't understand, do you? Nobody does. Mike is still in prison, isn't he? It's all right for me back here with food and telly and everything I want. But he's still out there. He's frightened and alone. It's just not right, Mum. It's not fair. Well, no wonder Bing had a cob on. Well, well, his daughter's getting off to France today, isn't she? No need for him to take it out on us now. 
God, are you totally stupid or what? Who are you? Well, it was you obsessed and nothing to do with Patricia. What's she on about? Well, what do you think, Sammy? You come on back here at all hours with some fella and tell. Oh, that? It was only a laugh. Yeah, well, Mr. Crosby didn't think it was very funny. Neither did I. Oh, God, listen to you. He sounds just like him, a boring old fart. Oh, well, I suppose everyone must be old and boring when you go around acting like some 12 year old. You what? Every time we go out, you're like some little kid getting drunk and grabbing the nearest fella. You make a show of us. Oh, right, I get it. This is what it's all about, isn't it? You can't get a fella, so you're taking it out on me just because I know how to enjoy myself. You what? You're off your head, you. Me? I'm off my head. I'm not the one who's shacked up with Rasputin, the mad monk. And in my mum and dad's house as well. Oh, thanks, Sammy. Thanks very much. Oh, well done. Are you pleased with yourself now? Oh, you can shut up and all who asked you to stick your nose in. Hey, I'm a mate. And I'm a sister. Oh, some sister going out your way to obsess her like that. You know how she feels about Simon and the cult and everything. Get wrecked her head. Oh, poor little Casey. Oh, you don't know the half of it. Oh, what is it now? Got the knock back from another audition, has she? Well, if you must know, she's been ill, really ill, and she still is. What? Are you serious? Well, I'm not gonna lie about a thing like that, am I? She's had a really bad time. God, I, I didn't realise. Oh, well, there's a surprise. You're so wrapped up in yourself, you don't give a toss about anyone else, do you? Well, I have had my own problems as well, you know. See? There you go again. You haven't even asked what's wrong with her. Your own sister's been seeing a counsellor for bulimia for God knows how long, being really ill, and you don't want to know. Coppers, solicitors, MPs, diplomats, the lot of them sicken me. All of them. A complete waste of space. But you can't give up, not while our Michael's still in prison. What am I supposed to do, Dee? They've all washed their hands of him, haven't they? They're not interested. There's got to be a chance. I mean, they released that Corkill girl. Do I have to spell it out to you? They're only going to let one go. They've got to charge someone, keep them locked up, and it's our Michael. God. She walks away free as a bird and poor Mike carries the can. Wonder how she worked that one, eh? Battered her eyelids and dropped her knickers. Oh, do you mind? Well, she's a core kill, isn't she? That lot are capable of anything. She's right. They are poison. As if they haven't done enough damage already. Why did I ever let him get involved with her in the first place? What the hell was I thinking of? Oh, take it easy, Ron. Take it easy? Hey, I feel like committing murder. My world's falling apart and that lot are sitting over the road there playing happy families. And where's the justice, eh? Go on, answer me that. That's right. There is no bloody justice. How is she? She's having a bit of a rest with Kylie. Really put me size tens in a day, didn't I? Oh, come on, love. You're only doing your best. Yeah, but... I mean, I can't understand it. She should be celebrating. Jimmy, she's just come out of prison. Yeah, I know, and that's what I can't understand. I mean, love, I've been there myself. I know what she's been through. For God's sake, Jimmy. What? You were locked up down the road for three months with people who spoke your language and you knew when you were going to get out, didn't you? Our oh, Lindsay didn't. But the big difference is, you were a thieving guess who got what he deserved. Our oh, Lindsay's never broken the law in her life, has she? And another thing, you knew I was safe as home, didn't you? Not locked up with you. How can she celebrate when she's worried sick about Mike? Yeah, poor kid. Now, do you understand why she's not full of the joys of spring? Yeah. Look, Jim, I don't know what you call it, trauma, shock, something. But she's not the same girl she was. You're right, love. But look, if we're patient, I mean, we could get things back to normal, couldn't we? You know, the way they used to be before any of this trouble. When we were a proper family. Lindsay and Carly, you know, and... Me and you together, like. You are? Boom. When we were really happy, you and me. Well done, Jimmy. If you're thinking what I think you're thinking. Love, for all Lindsay's sake. I mean, she needs a bit of stability, doesn't she? How's it going to look if you and me aren't sharing the bed, eh? No way. You are? The only reason I came back was because of our Lindsay, and I'll do whatever it takes to help her, Jimmy. But that doesn't include sharing a bed with you. I want to say I'm sorry. What for? 
Or for not being a very good sister. Well, I've been talking to Jackie. Oh, yeah. What's, she's told me about you being ill. About this eating disorder thing. Yeah, well, I in a way. Well? Well, what? Well, how are you? You know, with this illness and that. Well, funnily enough, since you've been around, I haven't had the chance to worry about it. Too busy running after you. In fact, all I seem to talk to me counsellor about is you. Oh, don't be like that, Kate. Listen, why didn't you tell me? Because I didn't think you'd be interested. That's not right. Sammy, you don't care about anyone else except yourself as long as you get your own way. Look, I know I've upset a few people like Bing and Jackie and that, but I don't want us falling out. We're sisters, aren't we? Yeah, when it suits you. Oh, please, Casey. I want us to be mates. And I want you to tell me everything. You know about all these problems you've been having? If you've got a couple of hours, then. For me little sister, no problem. Friends. Friends. Come to Mummy. There's a good girl. Oh, I wish we Look, could. could I hold her just for five minutes? Yeah, of course you can. Now, let's go to Daddy. Go to Daddy. <laughs> Anything I can do to help? Uh, no, Dad. I think everything's ready. We'll be off in two minutes. Two minutes. Right. Well, I'll, uh, I'll just finish tidying up in here, then. Right. Um, so you've got the address and the phone number, haven't you? Yes. Yes, I have. I'll ring you as soon as we get there. And uh, when am I going to see you again? See the kids again? Well, we'll arrange a weekend. You can come and visit. Oh, I see. The uh, vague <sighs> promise of a weekend in France, is that it? What about access to my own children? Max, I've told you, you can come and see us whenever you like. Great, I'll just jump in the car when the fancy takes me. I mean, what's a 1,500-mile round trip between friends, eh? Perhaps we should discuss this some other time. Mummy! Excuse me. I can't believe she's just going like that. Look, maybe it's not too late. David, they're going. One last-ditch effort, Max. Try and talk her into staying. What am I supposed to say? She hasn't listened to anything so far. For God's sake, Max, it's your family at stake here. You've got to fight for them. Come on, man. Give it another go. Come on, gonna do a bit of colouring. We did our granddad, are you, eh? Do you have a nice rest, love? Yeah. That's OK, a nice one. Recharge the old batteries, eh? It's all right if Kylie has a drink, Mum. Of course it is. You don't have to ask. This is yours and Kylie's own, love. Help yourself. That's right, love. You're home now. Thanks, Mum. Oh, come on, love. It's all right. Sorry. You're all right, love. Mum and Dad are here to help you now. Dad? Well, love. When's Mike coming home? Uh, I don't know. Soon. He'll be home soon, love. Yeah, that's right. Any day now. Just promise me, Dad. Promise me you'll bring him home. Yeah, I promise you, love. I won't let you down. Oh, yeah. You get locked up for that, you know. I'm just having a nose. There's still some furniture in there, but it's up for sale by auction. I'm thinking about putting an offer in. Buying this house? Are you serious? Yeah, I can get a mortgage. I don't think I can stand living over there any longer. Listen, Jack, I know you and our Sammy haven't been getting on, but I've had a good chat with her. She's promised to sort herself out. Is that a pegasus flying up there? Jackie, she means it. Yeah, well, I'm not going to have to put up with her much longer, am I, once I move out? Are you going to live in this place on your own? No, I thought me, you and Rachel could move in. Well, what about our Sammy? <laughs> no chance. Oh, Bev, what's the score with the banks? Have they moved out or what? I don't know in life, Flip. By all accounts. Hey, at least Patricia Farnham's put a foot down at last. Got rid of that pair of her husband. All the way round, isn't he? You are. Patricia's the one who's leaving. Pat Farnham's leaving the close. Yeah, for good. After everything he's put her through. Driving her out like that. The rat. 
The dirty two-time and rat. How am I going to get Mike Dixon out of that prison? Well, if you're to find Gary. He's done one. You promised to Jimmy. I know, love. But what could I say? She looks so pathetic. So you've got to keep looking for Gary? Jackie, I have been in every alehouse, every bookies, every squat in this city. There's no sign of him. There must be something you can do. And like what? Well, listen, why don't you go and have a word with Ron? Oh, you are joking, aren't you? No, I'm not. We all want Mike home, don't we? So let's see if we can help Ron. No. Oh, come on, Jimmy. Imagine how we'd feel if it was still our Lindsay out there. Poor Ron must be at the end of his tether. I know, but... And you promised him, didn't you? You said you'd do anything to get his son home. Yeah, but things are different now. Oh, well, that's just typical of you, isn't it? You what? Same old Jimmy Corkle, full of empty promises. You haven't changed, have you? I hang about. No, you hang about. Mike Dixon is out there still in prison. And you owe it to Ron to bring him home, and you owe it to our Lindsay. I mean, don't forget where those drugs came from, Jimmy. If you were any sort of a man, you'd be over there talking to Ron now. Yeah, you're right. I owe it to our Lindsay. Why would I'm straight over there, then? As soon as I get this scrambled egg off this pan. <sighs> yeah, I could have been here for you more often, then Mummy wouldn't be taking you away, would she, eh? <laughs> I think I've let you down, Alice. <sighs> I've let you all down. I'm really sorry. But uh, I'm going to miss you. I really am. Uh, you be a good girl for Mummy, eh? And I'll see you soon. Oh, uh, uh, just saying our goodbyes. Thomas is with his granddad, so uh, I'd better take her now. Yeah. Uh, here you go. Who's a good girl? Uh -huh. So this is it then. Yeah. I'll miss you. Yeah. And Thomas. This little one. She'll miss you too. We all will. You as well? Of course. Really? Max, I... The way you've been acting is as if you couldn't wait to get out of the place. I'm sorry. It's the only way I could deal with it. Just get in a car, don't look back, because I... I know that if I stop to think and look you in the eye, then... I'll have second thoughts. I know I will. You don't want to go. Well, then stay. I can't. Please, we can work something out here. Max, I... Patricia, I want you and the children to stay. I mean it. Max, I'm sorry. I really am... Please don't go. Don't leave me. We can work something out here. <laughs> I don't know. I... It's not too late, you know. Please, you've got to stay. Hello. I just dropped by to wish Patricia bon voyage. I'm sorry. I tried to stop her. Thanks for coming over. We need all the support we can get. Yeah, well, I've been there myself, haven't I? Hey, yeah. who was that at the front door? All right. What are you doing here? Ron. Come to gloat, have you? Look, Ron, I haven't come to cause bother. Ron, please. Jimmy's come to help us. Yeah, well, I've heard that one before. At least listen to what he's got to say. Go on, Jimmy, tell him what you told me. Look, I know how you must be feeling. <laughs> oh, Ron, just listen. I'd be gutted if it was our Lindsay still out in Thailand. But just because she's home, it doesn't mean we've forgotten about your mic. That's it. End of speech. Well... We just wanted you to know, me and Jackie, that we'll do anything we can to help get your mic back. Right, you've had your say. Now I'll have mine. I must be soft in the bloody head, cos I have let you get away with murder. You won't. Ah, Tony, remember? Please, Ron! Hey, you can listen to this and all. This tow rag here put our son in a coma and then put on the old Uncle Jimmy routine. Do you remember all that, eh? Our child dying and him with his crocodile tears. And we believed him. Like a couple of suckers, we swallowed it. And now the same thing is happening all over again. 
He's ruined our Michael's life, and he's back here saying, I'll do anything I can for you. And we're giving him the time of day. We must need our bloody heads seen to. Look, Ron. Hey, you get out of my house now. Oh, God help me, I'll kill you. I didn't know she was going to come. Say goodbye to the children, Max. But... Hi, Pat. Why are you going back to France? God, that's all I need. The children and I are having a break. Hey, you don't want to let them drive them out your own home, you know? Do you mind? Thomas, say goodbye to Grandad. Well, I'll see you soon. You take care and look after your mummy, eh? That's good, you. Patricia, please, just listen to me. You really pick your moments, don't you? I was just passing. I'm barely out of the door and you've got your feet under the table. Go out, Pat. You stick up for yourself, girl. You've got it all wrong. God, it's all go today, isn't it? Someone must be moving into the clothes. Yes, and I wonder who that might be. Well, I hope you're very happy together. You deserve each other. No. Look, just tell her. Tell her she's got it all wrong. She won't listen to me. So are you going to say goodbye to your children, Max? I... Come on, Max. Come on. You're fighting a losing battle, old son. Say your goodbyes, eh? Patricia. Thomas, say bye-bye to Daddy. Bye-bye, son. See you soon, eh? Come on, in the car. Good boy. Take care. Dad. See you soon, eh? Yeah. Take care, my darling. Don't forget to write, eh? Say hello to Mum. I'll miss you. You too. See you, Pat. Look after yourself. This isn't how it looks. I don't want to hear it, Max. I'll ring you, let you know we've arrived. But, Patricia. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. No gone. Max. Thank you very much, Susanna. Sorry. Your idea of a joke. God, I always knew you were spiteful. Max. But I didn't know you could be capable of stooping this low. Max, the removal people have gone into the banks. Yeah, some of the minty furniture's still there. Thanks very much, Max. Have a nice life. Katie, please hurry up, will you? Um, do you want another cup of tea, Mr Crosby? Not at the moment, thank you, no. Okay. Oh, we yeah, are. Leave them, Rachel. I'll do them when I get back. I'll, uh, I'll just go and get me a purse. What's going to her? Oh, I haven't you heard? She's turned over a new leaf. Oh, you are? Yeah, Katie has a word with her touch. She was getting on everyone's nerves. Really? 
Yeah, well, someone had to tell her. She's a pain. Anyway, we won't have to suffer her much longer once we're moving over the rose, will we? Oh, she's not coming with us, is she? Too right, she's not, but don't mention to her about us moving because she doesn't know nothing about it, okay? Yeah, all right. Katie, please, you'd make an old man very happy. Oh, she must be getting ready for her audition. Oh, come on, this really is too much. Two more minutes. Right, do you want anything from the shops? No, time. I'm fine, thanks. Right, OK, I'll see you later then. Oh, and I'll tidy up when I get back. See ya. See ya. I don't know about you, but I think I prefer the old Sammy. At least you knew where you were with her. Oh, excuse me, ladies, emergency. Aye, aye, Bing. Wee willy winky, eh? <laughs> hey, Donald, where's your trousers? <laughs> oh, Max, thank heavens you saved my life. I couldn't find my keys to here, those blasted gods. Nay, damn Well, I've never seen Bing move so quick in his life. What do you reckon? Take him with us? Oh, no, that's definitely a vindaloo, that, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> hey, the banks have slipped off quietly, didn't they? Yeah, uh, can you blame them? I mean, having your house repossessed, hardly gonna throw a leaving party, are you? Nah, I suppose not. Same thing happened to you, didn't it, lad? Yeah, I had the sense to give them the keys back before they took them off me. Told them where they could stick the mortgage. You know, you'd have thought that with all the money that Eddie and Rosie wanted, they could have bought the place outright. Still, someone's gonna get a bargain, you know. How's it mean? Well, the builders decide to one off their hands, won't they? So they're bound to knock a few bob off the price. What, like a few hundred, like? Ah, thousands. Thousands? I reckon so. Mind you. It's a nice little house, isn't it? Yeah. Nice little conservatory around the back, and all. Do you know what? That conservatory has been the bane of my life. It was always dead hard to clean. I just think... This summer, I could be sitting in there with my feet up and a nice cold bottle of lager. Yeah, nice one. Hang on. Are you thinking what I think you're thinking? Certainly am. So what's brought all this on? I mean, I'm nearly 40 years of age. I mean, I can't carry on lodging with you and the kids for the rest of my days, can I? I thought you was happy staying with us. Yeah, well, I am, but it can't go on forever. I mean, Leo and Gemma are growing up. They want their own space. I want mine. But what about when Ruthie comes to stay? No, it's time I had my own place, mate. Yeah, I know, I mean, landing yourself with a mortgage. Me, I've got nearly 40 grand burning a hole in my pocket. I'm not gonna have to worry about a mortgage, am I? It's the perfect opportunity. Besides, I don't think anyone else around here is gonna be interested, do you? The uh, hell? Oh, hi, lads. Fancy seeing you here. Have you finished? Oh, sorry about that. It's a matter of life or death. David, you needed a pee, not a heart transplant. Well, actually, a burst bladder has been known to be terminal, you know. Uh, oh, I don't know. What in heaven's name is it with women and bathrooms? I mean, she must have been in there for what? I don't know, the best part of an hour. It's ridiculous. It really is. It's my house, and I'm denied even reasonable access to my own bathroom, and I'm the landlord. There's got to be something in a tenancy agreement David, to cover please, that. if you don't mind. Oh. Max, I'm sorry. You've been up and down at that window all morning. Yeah, I'm sorry, dear. I'm pacing the floor. You'll be wearing out the carpet. I know, I know. You don't know what to do with yourself, do you? I just feel so bloody useless. I should be out there now with our Michael and I don't even know where to begin to help. I mean, I'm going round the bend here, Dee. What am I supposed to do? Well, what if we were to go over to the Cork Hills? What is it with you and them? I'm not talking about going to see Jimmy. I'm thinking about Lindsay. Hey, Lindsay Cork is the last person I want to see. It's because of her our Michael's festering in that foreign jail. And where's she, eh? Oh, she's back here, living in the lap of luxury. For heaven's sake, Ron. All this hatred. I'll tell you what, Dee, the crap we put up with this past few weeks. I'm beginning to understand now why people commit murder. Ron, you've just let things build up. You're angry and frustrated. Well, we all are. You too. Well, you're talking about the only son I've got left. This is breaking my heart. We've just got different ways of expressing our feelings, that's all. Patience of a saint, eh? I wish. Hey, it's true. Ron, the thoughts that I've had, they're more terrible than the things you've said. Serious? I'm ashamed to admit it. Hey, come on, love. You've got nothing to be ashamed of. Your only crime is loving your son. Where's the shame in that? Yeah. Oh, Ron. I'm going to go and see Lindsay, even if you won't come with me. Dear. Oh, please, Ron. She was out there with Michael. She knows what it was like. It might even help to talk to her. What good is it going to do? Well, I don't know, but we've got to give it our best shot, haven't we? I just had a thought. 
solve our respective problems in one fell swoop. Really? Yes. Your loneliness and my overcrowding. I can move in here. <laughs> right. Keep you company and leave that gang of women to squabble over my bathroom among themselves. What do you think? Well, great idea, in theory. Sorry? No, I'll be honest with you. Um, lonely as I am, I do need my space. Max, surely there's more than enough space here for both of us. What about Patricia? Patricia? Well, she's only been gone a day, and I'm taking in lodgers. How do you think that would look? I mean, she'll probably think I, I couldn't wait to get rid of her. Yes, yes, I suppose I, if you put it like that. Well, like I say, David, nice idea, in theory. Mm. Now, if you don't mind, I better get ready. Oh, before you do, would you would you just mind if I use the toilet one more time? I'll be very quick, I promise. Thanks, Mum. So what you reckon? I think I'll give it a miss. It just didn't feel right. You'll be going at a real knockdown price, you know. Well, I think I'll let someone else have a chance, eh? Anyway, I've got to get off. Got to go to the bank. See you. Yeah, see you, Teddy. Poor old Teddy. Mm. Must have brought back some bad memories going around that place. What is it with him in that house? Well, he lived there with Sue and Danny, didn't he? Yeah. That's them on the plaque. That's his wife and kid. Yeah, but he died. He fell off the scaffolding when they were building these shops. God, that's terrible. And he was thinking about buying the house they all used to live in. Yeah, but only to rent out, like. God, I don't know how we can even set foot in the place after something like that. Nightmare, isn't it? <clears throat> hey, Mook, can anybody go and look at the house? We can't have they've got a set of keys. Could I go and have a look now? Do what you like. It's not my house. It's not our rosies anymore, so it's no skin off my nose. Yeah. Drop them off later for us. Yeah, I will yeah, do. Yeah, see you. Yeah. Hiya. Hi, 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 uh, have you seen Terry anywhere? You've just missed him. I think uh, he's gone to the bank. I wanted to catch him, you know, about Patricia Farnham's place. Get in there quick before the rush. You want to rent that place as well as a trading post? Well, it's just a thought. I had a big plan for that place, you know, when Deedee took off and the floor was shut down, but the Farnham's beat us to it. You never know. You might get it second time round. Well, so long as you're not going to be selling pizzas. Oh, go home stinking of onions every night. I'll leave that to you, Mick. I've got a customer. Draw. Sit down, love. She's not hanging about, is she? I found him when he went yesterday. Mind you, it's a cracking little speck there, you know. You've got loads of people going in and out. Tell you, if you started a business, you'd make a few bob there. Yeah, I reckon so. Hey, maybe I should give Teddy a shout. You what? What is it with you today? Is that money burning a hole in I'm pocket? going nowhere fast, aren't I? I've got 40 grand laying now. It's time I made that money work for me. So, come on, let's go see me in your house. Sure you can't manage any more, love? Ready enough, thanks. OK. Always eat it up again later on, can't I? Are you all right, love? You stay there. I'll get that. I'll be a sec. Hi. All right. Sorry to bother you. We wondered if we could have a word with you or Lindsay. What about? We just wanted to find out a bit more about what happened out there in Thailand, see if you could tell us something that might help our Michael. Listen, don't know if this is the right time. Uh, it's really taking it out of her. She's not feeling very well. Yeah, well, I don't suppose our Michael's feeling too clever, either. Yeah, of course. Better come in, then. So what do you reckon, then? That sound like, innit? Loads of space in that. Couple of sub lounges in here, they look great. Imagine you, the garden could do with a bit of work. So, you definitely going for it then? Well, if they're giving it away, I'd be a fool not to, wouldn't I? Yeah, yeah. What are you doing here? I'm just having a look. Well, you can't. It's private property. So, what are you doing here then? I'm a prospective buyer, I like so come on, stop messing around. No, we're not messing around. We're here as prospective buyers as well. You're not? Well, just Jackie. Me and Katie are going to be a lodgers. So, you up, you putting a bid in? Yeah, I'm going to see my accountant this afternoon. Accountant, eh? Looks like you're in for some serious competition, eh, son? Yeah, well, may the best man or woman win, eh? I thought I heard voices. What on earth's going on? All right, Ping, get yeah, just having a nose. Rosie's sister lends us the keys. You're not thinking to put a bid in, are you? No, I most certainly am not. I thought this house was now the property of the building society. Well, it is. It's been repossessed. Well, in that case, you're trespassing, aren't you? You're breaking the law, all of you. But do us a favour, eh, Ping? I thought you three might have known better. We're only having a look around. Yeah, and I am thinking about buying the place. You're thinking about buying your own property? Well, yeah. Uh, if she can outbid me at the auction. So you'll be leaving the bungalow? Too right. I shall be taking us with her. Really? No more queuing for the bathroom. No more washing in cold water. Free to come and go as I please. Right. Will you have a good look round and take your time? I thought we were breaking the law, Bing. 
Ah, yes, Mick. But I think we can safely say, in this case, the law is a ass. How are you feeling? Fine, thanks. Still, it must have been terrible for you. Should have seen the state of the prisons out there, Dave. What would they like, eh, Mum? Pretty awful. You must be glad to be back. Be Mum and Dad. Yeah. I thought we were here to talk about our Michael. Lindsay, love, we don't want to push you, but we thought there might be some way in which you could help us. What do you mean? Is there anything you could tell us that might get our Michael home? Anything at all? What, like? Well, anything. Something you saw out there, something you heard. Don't know what you mean. God, does she have to spell it out for you? Ron. She's playing games with us. What? You remember Michael, don't you? Our son. The one that you left behind in Bangkok. The one that's taken the rap for you. Hey, you, that's enough. Ron, this isn't why we came here. Oh, Mr Dixon, I had no choice in any of this. I asked them to let me see Mike. I begged them to let me see him, but I was just stuck on a plane and told to get out of the country. Yeah, and I bet your feet didn't touch the ground either, eh? I tried to see him, Mr Dixon, but nobody would tell me anything. Well, you didn't try hard enough, did you? Look at you back here drinking tea while my son's stewing in some cesspit. Don't you think I feel terrible about that? I feel awful. I haven't been able to think about anything else since I came home. I can't sleep. I can't eat. I just can't think about anything. All I want is to get Mike home. I just want him back like you do. Oh, it's all right, love. Come on. Well, you can cry all you like, lady. But just remember, you walked away from my son, left him out there on his own. Ah, Michael, in some godforsaken place. He must hate you. He doesn't. He told me just before I came home. You what? Got a letter off him the day before I got out. He told me he loved me. He even said he'd take the blame for me if it'd get me home. Oh, I see. So our Michael is taking the rap for you, is he? And you left him out there knowing that. God, give me strength. If you weren't a woman... Are you all right? Come on, Dee, let's get out of here. Sorry, no can do. Prior engagement. But I've hoovered your bedroom and I've tidied up and everything. And it's much appreciated. I shall miss your womanly touch around the place when you've gone. Gone where? Well, over the road to number nine, of course. You what? Don't well, tell me you don't know. <laughs> Jackie's buying the Banks' old house and all you girls are moving in there together. Oh, really? Oh, great. Well, there's a lot more room over there than there is here, isn't there? Indeed. I think this place will seem like a veritable mansion when you lot have flown the nest. Oh, it's Katie. Uh. Come here. Kate? Oh, listen, you can't look after Louise for me, can you? Uh, no way. I've got an audition this afternoon. Oh. Bye, ladies. Have fun. Bye, Poppet. Oh, please, Katie. It's only for an hour. There's no way I am missing this audition. One hour? I promise. Look, I've got an interview. It's only for a bar job, like, but I'm sure I'll get it. You'll be back here by 12. Yeah, I promise. Look, I won't let you down. You better hadn't. Oh, thanks, Katie. You're a star. Hey, it's great about Jackie getting number nine, isn't it? Oh, eh. Uh, yeah, how did, did you know? Bing told me. It's great, isn't it? Oh, I can't wait to move in there. And there'll be a lot more room for Louise. Anyway, look, I'll be back in an hour. I'll see you later. Bye. See ya. Hi. <sighs> Hello. What are you doing here? I work here. Remember? Yeah, I know. I'm just... Uh... Surprised to see me after yesterday. Well, things did get pretty heated. Not to mention the spiteful. Oh, well, I'm sorry about that. Well, now I know what you really think of me. Susanna, please. Excuse me, Max. I have work to do. All right. All right, sir. All right, sir. Hey, did you have a look around at number nine? Yeah, that is. And I like what I saw. You going for it then? Yeah, defo. <laughs> Nice one, good for you. Mind you, you've got a bit of opposition, haven't you, Sim? Oh, I? Yeah, Jackie Dixon's interested as well. What was her business doing that well? I might have to think about putting her rent up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, talking of which, how much for Pat Farnham's old place? 
Oh, I don't know. Why do you ask? Well, I'm just interested in finding out how much it'll cost to get started, you know, in case I decide to do something different, I don't know, a few years from now. Well, it all depends what you're thinking of selling. Yeah, it's a costly business getting a shop fitted though, you know. Mm. So what have you got in mind? Oh, I don't know, really, just thinking of the future, you know. Do you reckon, Mick? Can you see Sinbad as a florist? <laughs> what, those delicate little hands of his? Nah, not quite him, is it? <laughs> hey, you want a boat to Chippy? Hey, no, I don't know about that. Are you trying to put me out of business or something? Oh, hang on, hang on. There's nothing wrong with a bit of competition. Yeah, we've got a money there, mate, haven't yeah. we? Yeah. No, I'm just interested, you know. I mean, I'd like to have my own shop, wouldn't I? I'll beat the trips around in the cold and rain, don't it? Hey, we're looking for you, Terry. Uh, it's about the gift box. It's just me and Mum. We lost out on it last time. Barry granted the dirty on us. You should have seen the plans we have for it. We're going to knock through. We're going to get papers, booze, everything. Like a proper little mini market. It's a bit of fortune. Are you saying you're interested in it? Yeah, defo. Just got to okay with Rock. Well, listen, when you know for sure, come and give us a shout, all right? Well, can I have it? I, I didn't say that, but you can certainly get in the queue. You what? Behind Sinbad here, cos he's got fair shout on it. Have I? Oh, great. Him? He's a window cleaner? Yeah, I am. But there comes a time when a man's got to take a good look at himself and say, enough is enough. It's time to hang up the old chamois in the bucket. And I think that time man have come. <laughs> Fancy a coffee? If you could just put it there. I thought I might join you. Don't mind you. It's your restaurant. You can sit where you like. Susanna, can we please put a stop to all this? All this what? Your little girl hurt routine. I said I was sorry. Do you really think I'm spiteful? No, of course not. The truth, Max. Not spiteful. Perhaps a little catty. Oh, thanks very much. Susanna, you just happened to be passing at the same time as Patricia just happened to be leaving. I only want you to say goodbye. And don't come back? Uh... <sighs> so, is she coming back? Did it look like it? She's taken everything she owned. Seems permanent to me. So you're all on your own in that house? Afraid so. Just have to get used to it, I suppose. Not unless, um... Well, me and the children are going to be needing somewhere. Susanna, no. It makes perfect sense. Just think of the money you'll be saving. No. But Max! Susanna! My wife has just left me. I, I need time to sort myself out. The last thing I need is... Me cramping your style. I didn't say that. You didn't have to. Coffee break over, I think. Jackie. All right. You've got to help me. What is it? Oh, Sammy's left Louise with me, but she's not back yet. I've got my audition. I'm really late already. Oh, so much for the turning over a new leaf, eh? <sighs> Never mind that. Can I leave Louise with you? If I go now, I'll just make it. Oh, I'm sorry, but no way. Oh, please, Jack, you know how important this is to me. Yeah, I know, and I'm sorry, but I'm on my way to see my accountant about the mortgage. I've got to get everything sorted out if I want to get this house. What am I going to do? Well, have you asked Bing? He's gone out and so is Rachel. Well, can't you take it with you? Joking on yet? Yeah. I'll take one look and let me out the place. I'm gonna miss it, aren't I? I'm sorry. It's all right. It's not your fault. It's our Sammy again. Yes, I'll have to go. I'll see ya. I went a bit over the top, didn't I? You were very hard on her. I'm sorry, dear. I couldn't help it. I just did my head in. Her being free and our Michael still locked up. It's so bloody frustrating. I know. But try and take it easy, eh, love? She looked terrible, though, didn't she? Completely washed out. I can't believe how much she's changed. I mean, she always used to have a big smile on her face, but... God, I dread to think what condition our Michael's in. Hey, he's a strong lad. Yeah, physically, maybe, but what about up here? Locked up in one of them places. I mean, you've seen what it's done to Lindsay. She's a wreck. Ron. Ron. What is it? What's wrong? I lost out on the gift box. What the hell are you talking about? All oh, my big plans. I waited ages for Terry Sullivan. You know, about my expansion with the papers and the booze and that. Bev. And then when he finally does turn up, he knocked me back. I was gutted. And you've come running home here crying to me about that? Well, you know, I wanted to knock through. Yeah, well, excuse me for not giving two short ones, but in case you haven't noticed, I've got more important things to worry about. Lens. What 
up, love? Hiya. No joy, I'm afraid. He said I was overqualified. Hiya, Lou. And they kept me waiting for ages. Oh, well, better luck next time, eh? Is that it? Is that what? I don't believe you. Not a word of apology. No, sorry I'm late, Katie. Sorry I made you miss your audition. Oh, I I'm sorry. I didn't think. No, you never do. Not unless it's something to do with you. You're the most selfish person I have ever met. I'm sorry. I, I forgot. Forget it, Sammy. That's it. Me and you are finished. You what? Oh, and I don't know who gave you the impression you were moving into number nine with us, cos you're not. Jackie and Rachel can't stand the sight of you either, and none of us want you living with us. We used to send notes to each other all the time. Al? One of the trustees. He spoke English. Mike saucer to mouse. I kept every one of them. Sometimes they wouldn't always get through. That was the worst thing, thinking something terrible had happened. But then you get another one. It's the only thing that kept me going. I bet. Mike's all out there on his own. He's got no one, has he? Hey, come on, love. He doesn't hate me, does he, Dad? Hey, don't you be taking any notice of what Von Dixon's got to say. I mean, after everything that's happened, we still love each other. Yeah, I know, love. So why won't Mr Dixon believe me? Why does he think I let Mike down? Well, he's just upset, love. Because you're back home and Mike's still in Thailand, that's all. Maybe he's right. Maybe we'd all be better off if it had stayed out there. Hey, hey, come on. You're better off back home here with us. But Mike needs me, Dad. I know what it's like. It's terrible out there. And the only reason I survived was because I knew he was there as well. And these... He's kept us going, Dad. And now he's all out there on his own. He's got no one. I don't know if he's going to be able to handle it, Dad. I don't know if he'll ever be able to get out of that place alive. The Backstage Tour, the new Brookside video, is in the shops now. Or you can send a cheque payable to BSS for £12.99 to Brookside, The Backstage Tour, PO Box 6120, London W5, 2GJ. <laughs>
Nah, I'm only messing. So how's Lindsay since she's been back? Oh, well, you know, a uh, bit quiet. Yeah, she's just taking it easy, you know. I haven't seen her out and about much. Well, she's still finding her feet. Yeah, you don't want to push things to you after what she's been through. Anyway, I'll just get me bucket. See you later. See you, love. See you, mate. It's about, you know, she hasn't been outside the house since the day she got home. Not even out of here. Can't be doing any good cooped up inside all day. Especially having spent six weeks locked in a prison cell. All right, well, that's it. Uh, we get it out in the fresh air today. Yes, we'll gently do this, eh, Jimmy? Hey, don't be worrying. Here, I know what I'm doing. I've got a master plan. Oh, just think, no more Mr. Cosby hammering on the bathroom door. And no Sammy rolling in drunk at two o'clock in the morning. God, if those eyes are down, I don't know. I know she's my sister, but after what she did yesterday, making me miss that audition. Why did she take it when you told her about this place? She was gutted, like, but she shouldn't have got herself to blame, hasn't she? Yeah, I suppose so. Right, I bagged you the biggest room. Well, I'm the one who's forking out for the mortgage. Right, I bagged you the next biggest room. Oh, it's not fair, that. It means I'm left with the box room. Well, someone's got to have the small room, haven't they? God, have you seen this? Oh, it's Lee's old room. Did all that himself. It's weird, what is it? It's manga. Japanese. It's brilliant, isn't it? I look all right with a few posters over it once I move in, like... So I end up in the broom cupboard? Well, you've got less stuff than me, haven't you? And I need loads of room to do me exercises. Oh, I'm not having that. You can do your exercises downstairs in the front room. But I had the smallest room last time. Oh, look, why don't you just toss a coin or something? Yeah, but I always lose at that. Yeah, me too. Well, one of you has got to win, haven't you? All right, fancy seeing you here. God, you frightened the life out of me then. What are you doing? Well, what does it look like I'm doing? I'm trying to keep the place nice and clean for when I move in. Isn't your whim confident or what? Thinks he's got the place already. Yeah, well, can you blame me? I mean, the competition is not up to much, is it? Oh, sounds like fighting talk to me, that. Well, I check books drawn at 20 paces. <laughs> Good clean fight. I'll see you at the auction next week. <laughs> Hi, love, all right? Hi, love. How are you feeling? Nice. All right, so that's good. Um, do you just want to get your own cereal, love? I've got a ton of housework to do. Yeah, I'm dead busy myself. I've got all sorts on. I was just saying to your mum, um, it's a real shame. What is? Well, little Carly's stuck in front of the telly, you know, on a dinner today. Yeah, she should be out in the fresh air, shouldn't she? Well, I'd take her myself, you know, to the park, you know, if I wasn't that busy. Yeah, she loves the swings, doesn't she? And the roundabouts. Oh. Oh, well, um, perhaps another day, eh? Real shame, now. It's great, isn't it? It's brilliant. Even though you did end up with the smallest room. Oh, I told you I'd lose, didn't I? Yeah, well, let's just hope we don't end up losing out to Sinbad at this auction. End up having to stay in a bungalow. It's like we're all living on top of each other. Hey, don't worry about Sinbad. Leave him to me. Hi, Jack. Hi, oh, Dad. Listen, I just want to have a quick word with me dad. Do you mind passing these back into Mel? Yeah, I'll take them over for you now. Oh, thanks. Thank See you, you later. See you. Ta -ra. Hiya. Hi, girls. Hiya. You right, Dad? Yeah, never better, love. What are you doing over there? Well, I was waiting to pick the moment. What for? To tell you that I'm thinking about buying the banks' old place. What, you buying a house? How can you afford that? Well, I'm getting a mortgage, aren't I? I've spoke to my accountants and everything. Jackie, a mortgage at your age, love. The business is going really well. I can afford it. <sighs> what can I say? Listen, I know how it must look with what's happening to your Mike and that. Hey, hey. Um, I couldn't be more happy for you, love. Really? Yeah, but you can't put everything on hold because of Michael. You've got your own life to live now, haven't you? Anyway, I know you'd be the first to drop everything if you thought I could help. Him. No, you just go ahead and do it, Jackie. You do whatever you think is right. Thanks, Dad. So, I take it that Gary hasn't turned up. I wouldn't hold me breath on that one. I thought Jimmy Corker was supposed to be looking for him. He's not interested in finding Gary, is he? He's got his own kid back home now. He couldn't give a toss about our Michael. Well, so, without Gary, I mean, what's gonna happen? Dread to think, Jack. Ron! Yeah, we're here, love. There's a phone call for you. Who is it? I don't know, but it sounds dead important. She's gonna end up with square eyes, that one. What was that, Mum? Hi, honey, watching all those cartoons. Hi, hi. 
You two still here? Well, you'd have been in the park by now. Yeah, I'm just saying. She's going to end up with squared eyes, isn't she, Kylie? If she's not careful. I'm not kidding. Sat indoors on a day like today. Come on, Kylie. Here we go. Oh. Hey, that's more like it. I'm going up to my room. So much for your master plan, eh? That was plan A. Time for plan B. Yes, yes, I'll definitely be here. Right, well, I'll see him this afternoon, then. Thank you. Bye. Well? That was James Payne's secretary. He wants to come and see me this afternoon. An MP coming here? Yeah. Well, he must have some news. Oh, Michael, he must be coming home. That's what I reckon. I mean, why else would he want to come and see me? It's got to be good news, hasn't it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like girls. Yeah. Have a good look around the bank's place, eh? Yeah, it's great, isn't it? Yeah, it's very nice, yeah. Can't yeah. wait till we move in, can we? Well, don't be counting your chickens because it's not a one-horse race, you know. Oh, it is as far as Jackie's concerned. Yeah, she's not worried about you. Well, she's confident about getting the place, is she? Oh, she's talking about getting curtains made and everything. Oh, yeah, and she's buying loads of paints and wallpaper. I'm going to Ikea on Sunday. You know, have a look at furniture, and that. Well, that's stuff for the kitchen. God, she's got it all planned, hasn't she? And that's Jackie. Right, go get it, isn't she? Hey, listen, uh, hope you don't mind me asking, like, but how much do you reckon she's prepared to go up to to get it, you know? Mm, that'd be telling, wouldn't it? Oh, come on, Kate, you can trust me. <laughs> as, far, as far as we can throw you. And that wouldn't be very far, would it? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much. We're up to a good clean fight, eh? <laughs> Hi, Pete. Morning, Sam. Ah, oh, girls. What's the latest on number nine? That looks like everything's going ahead. Really? Yeah, Jackie's been to see her accountant and everything. So, she's well and truly got the bit between her teeth. Once you get something into her head, there's no stopping her. Good for her. Anyway, we'll see you later, OK? See ya. Right. Bye. Hello, David. Oh, Max. Max. Glad tidings, old son. For both of us. Really? Yes. Looks like I might be getting rid of my lodgers at last. Excellent, isn't it just? Free to do as I like in the old homestead again, and um, I can stop laying siege to your loo. Oh, well, that's a relief. You're never out the place. <laughs> so, any news on Patricia? Well, just a phone call to say they arrived safely, but uh, apart from that, nothing. Oh, she probably needs time to think things over. She'll be in touch. Yeah, but I can't hang around waiting on the off chance. I mean, I've got my own life to live, haven't I? Yes, of course. Well, you day. I was awful sorry to hear about your pat leaving like that. It's a crying shame. What? Such a lovely woman as well. Fancy being driven from your own home like that. What women have to put up with these days. I beg your pardon. And you a family man as well? You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Just hold on one minute. If you're referring to my court appearance, I shall have you know that I was found not guilty in a court of law. You were there, remember? And I was there in a court of law when they sent poor Mandy Jordash and her daughter to prison. It's always the same old story, isn't it? It's always we women that end up getting it. Oh, you're a slippery one, you are. No wonder your pat left you. Don't need them. Or them. Certainly don't need this. Okay. Well, what are they doing in there? Oh, I don't know. Under lie down, I suppose. Oh. oh, God, Jimmy, what are we going to do? Don't be bullying, kid. Everything's under control. You what? Just clearing the fridge. Give us an hand, will you? Jimmy, what are you doing? Plan B, love. Plan B. Jimmy, what's going on? Will you tell me? Patience. Just wait and see. So, you reckon he's that keen on this house, then? Got his heart set on it. Yeah, I thought so. He hasn't shut up about it. Really? To be honest with you, Jack, he's getting on my nerves with it. I mean, this wallpaper booth, that paint yard, is that a patio or a pea shingle for the back garden? Talks about nothing else. He's really put some thought into it, hasn't he? He thinks it's as good as he is. Mm, he must be ready to pay a good price for it then. I wouldn't know. So, um, he hasn't said anything to you about how much he's willing to pay? Come on now, Jax. Come on, what? I can't be discussing things like that with you. You're going to be up against each other at an auction. I'm only asking. I just want to make sure it's worth me putting a bid in. Yeah, sure. Whatever you say. <laughs> All right. Oh, I'll see you later, mate. Yeah, see ya. What was she after? Bit of inside info. I told her nothing. Mind you, she's got her head screwed on. Going to give you a few money. Now, she doesn't worry me, Mick. She's just a kid. She can't have that much money. Besides, I've got it all under control. That house is going to be mine. 
Right, son, you ready to go? Yeah, I'd like say just throw me ladders around the back. No ways off. Go and shopping. Gonna get a load of new gear for me new house. Hang on, you haven't got the place yet. That's what I said. Look, I've told you, it's all under control. You coming with us? No, I've got a business to run. I'll see you later. And hey, don't be throwing your money away. Hiya. Hi, Bev. All right, and before you ask, Simbad hasn't made his mind up about next door. Does it matter if he has? I'm out the room. How come? Well, no one doesn't want to know. Well, I thought he was dead keen for dead big plans for the place. That was before the trouble with Mike. Says he can't afford to put money in the business now. Needs it for legal fees, he reckons. Well, you can't blame him. Nah, they must be going up the wall. He is. But if you ask me, he's throwing money down the drain. You what? I shouldn't really say this, but it does look too good for Mike. What do you reckon? Well, they let that cow Lindy Corker walk free, didn't they? So they've got to go to town on Mike. Stands to reason. Ain't no hang on, Bev. Look, that's the way it works out there. They've got to punish someone and they don't care who it is. Now, if you ask me, that ribbon's going to be there for about the next 20 years. All right, love. Yeah, nice sleep, love. Yeah, thanks, Sue. It's all right if you've got something for Carly's dinner. Um, I think... Yeah, you... yeah, you help yourself there, Kate. It's all right. Everything all right? There's no food. Been that busy, forgotten to go to the shops. Gotten in for Carly's dinner. What are we gonna do? Well, I've got to uh, finish off the garden out there, and your mum's got a load of iron in love. Right, yeah, I'm up to my eyes, isn't it? Yeah. For Carly's dinner? Well, it's all right, I'll get your coat, eh? Me? Yeah. Well, we're dead busy, love, and uh, can't kind have of Carly going hungry, can we, eh? Mum? What is it, love? I can't. Hey, hello, love. Dad, please. What? Well, you're only going round the corner to the shops. It'll be all right, yeah. I can't do it. I can't go out. Of course you can. No. Oh, Lindsay, love. Don't make me go, Dad, please. Don't make me. All right. All right. No one's going to make you do anything. It's a real Aladdin's cave, this, isn't it? You get all your electrical gear in here, you know. Well, I'm gonna fill me boots. Look at that. 20 knicker for a freezer. It's in good nick as well. It's dead cheap, isn't it? Mind you, 20 quid for a freezer, you can't be making much profit on that, can you? Eh, uh, you'd be surprised the amount you can make at a place like this. See, what you do is you pick all this stuff up at a house clearance or something, give it a quick clean, and Bob's your uncle. Sounds too much like hard work for me to all that effort for a couple of quid. All right, Ted. All right. Who's that? The fellow who owns this place. Is that his motor? <laughs> nice car, isn't it? I mean, he paid for that by selling our fridges and freezers and that. Unless he robs banks in his spare time, yeah? Well, who'd have thought, eh? <laughs> oh. When did Bev last clean this place? D, it doesn't matter what the place looks like. You can't have an MP coming to a tiff. Hey, we pay his wages, remember? He can take us how he finds us. Is he here? Is that him? No, it's our Jackie. Well, at least it'll give me a chance to get the Hoover out. Yes, of course, sir. Come in. I thought Bev may have made it. I told her what was happening. She said she'd try and be here. But we don't want to crowd the poor man. And I was thinking maybe best if you spoke to him on your own. Do you reckon? Yeah, my mum's right. We'll only end up all talking at once anyway. OK, fair enough. Oh, here's a car now. Oh, is that him? Yeah, that's him. God, this is it. Here it goes. All right. Mr. Dixon. I appreciate you coming to see me like this. Come in. Hiya. Hello. Hi. 
Uh, my wife, Dee Dee, uh, Michael's mum, and this is my daughter, Jacqueline. <laughs> Pleased to meet you both. Um, is there someone we could talk? Yeah, yeah, sure. We'll go in the kitchen if you like. That'll be fine. Right, well, I'll put the kettle on. Step this way. <laughs> oh, Mum, it's good news. I know it is. Hey, hey, boys. How's your shopping system? Spot on. Got everything I wanted. All my electrical stuff for the kitchen, the lot. You must be a few heads splashing out and all that. It must have cost you a fortune. Yeah, about 80 quid. Is that all? Yeah. yeah, it's all second hand. I took him to the shop that I know. Yeah, I tell you what, mate, if you need anything for the house, that's the place to go. Come to think of it, I could do with a new fridge. Mm -hmm. Oh, are you? Oh, a little bird tells me that you're thinking about buying number nine. This little bird wouldn't be Jackie Dixon, would it, Julia? Never you mind, you told me. Anyway, I'll see you. Yeah, yeah, see, see you, too. Sir. Personally, I wouldn't touch the place with a flagpole. And why not? Number nine, the place is jinxed. I wouldn't be surprised if the gypsies put a case on it. <laughs> right, Julia. You might well laugh, Mick Johnson, but look what happened to the banks. All that lottery money. I knew it'd bring them nothing but misery. I said as much as the time. And what about your poor friend there? Who, Terry? His wife and child passing away. He's never been the same since. Julia, all that's got nothing to do with the house. You mark my ways. There's something funny going on around there. You may think you're getting a bargain. But I'd tread carefully if I was you. Oh, hey, and I bet there's one thing you haven't thought about. And what's that? You'd be living next door to that Jimmy Corkill. Oh, I wouldn't move there for a big clock. <laughs> oh, well, just have to get myself a few Everton mints. <laughs> I wonder if she's ever considered a career as a state agent. Yeah. She's had a word with Jackie Dixon, hasn't she? They're just trying to wind me up. Do you reckon? Yes. Well, you can try every dirty trick in the book, mate. Because I'm telling you now, it's not going to put me off. I'm going to have that house. It's going to be mine. Come in. There you are. Nice and strong. Thanks, Max. I'm sorry for barging in on you like this. Well, that's all right. Now, tell me, exactly what is the problem? I got a phone call from the letting agency this morning. Yeah? Well, I still can't believe it. Believe what? They've given me and the children 48 hours to get out of the flat. You've done that? Still hasn't been paying the rent. Since when? Well, he hasn't paid for three months. I see. And has Dill been in touch? Well, uh, no. Have you got a contact number? Max, I can't constantly keep running to Dill. We've been finished for ages. And I've been living in the flat rent three... No, no, I, I can't expect Dill to help. No, I suppose not. So, what are you going to do? Well, I don't know. I thought you might be able to help. Well, of course, I'll do whatever I can. Yeah, I'm sorry to land this on you, but I, I didn't know who else to turn to. OK, well, let's give the letting agency a ring, eh? I wouldn't bother. Unless you can pay the three months' arrears, they won't even listen to you. In fact, they were quite rude to me when I spoke to them this morning. Well, if they're owed three months' rent, I suppose they're entitled to be. Well, what are we going to do? Sure, we can sort something out. I mean, we've always managed in the past, haven't we? Pull together in times of crisis. Exactly. Oh, Max. I knew we could rely on you. No problem. We haven't got much stuff, so uh, it won't take me long to pack. Uh, no, I, I mean you can't. Why not? Because there's no room. No room? No, you see, um, I've taken in a lodger. Max, old son. A lodger? Who? Him. Him? The loo, if you wouldn't mind. I I'll have to get you a key cut. I I'll just let you in. Yeah. Oh, there's a list of flat agencies in the yellow pages. We'll start ringing round right away. Won't be two ticks. Is he here? Yeah, he's in the kitchen with Ron. What's happening? Shh, we don't know. They're just talking. How long have they been in there? Fifteen minutes. Oh, God, I wonder what's going on. It's got to be good news. It's got to be. Otherwise, why would he come all this way? Hey, maybe they're making the flight arrangements. You know, for Mike coming home. Yeah, that's it. Do you reckon? Oh, Mike's coming home. Hiya. Hello. So, what's happening about our Mike, then? Perhaps you should talk to your father. Well, can't you tell us? It might be best coming from your husband. Now, uh, if 
you'll excuse me. Uh, you can't just walk away from us like this, you know. I mean, we voted for you. I really must be going. Um, good day to you. Oh, what is it? Why didn't he tell us? Ron, what's going on? Dad! Jack. I don't know. She wouldn't even go out the front door. It's like a frightened rabbit, isn't she? Who the bloody hell's that? Corkle! Open up now! Oh, I'll do something, Rob. For God's sake, come home with Open you. this bloody door! He's gonna kill himself, Dad! What are you doing? What the hell are you playing at? Oh, Ron! Where is he? Ron? Where are you hiding him? Gary, that's who. I've got to find him. Dad, you're going to have another heart attack. I've got to find him. He's not here, Ron, I promise. Well, where is he, then? Where the hell is hey, he? You hey, must hey, know. Hey, that's hey, enough of that. God, someone help me. Dad. Ron. Ron, in the name of God, what is it? It's Michael. Well, what about him? They've charged him. They've charged him with drug trafficking. They're going through with it. They're going to court. Yeah, but he's innocent, Ron. The court will find him not guilty. And what happens if they don't? What happens if they do find him guilty? He'd be facing the death penalty. They've got to make an example of Bad up lighting, Jeff. Wakey, wakey, rise and shine. Huh? Dave, <sighs> Dave, what are you doing? You better get your skates on, old son, aren't you? You should be in work by now. Dave, what, what's going on? I'm moving in. Don't tell me you've forgotten. Oh, no, of course not. You hold on a minute, Kyles. Good girl. Friends. Hi, Hello. You and I, love? Yeah. Doesn't feel too bad now, I'm out here. I was just hoping Mr. Dixon might see me putting these up. I haven't seen him yet. I just want him to know that I haven't forgotten about Mike, and even if it doesn't mean putting up some ribbons. Listen, love. I know Ron said some hateful things to you, to both of us, but I don't think you really meant them, you know. Not deep down. I know. I just want people to know that I still cared about Mike and I didn't just abandon him. Well, it shows she cared, doesn't it? Tell you what, you put them up. I'll go and ask your dad to make himself useful and put the kettle on for us, eh? He's not in. He's gone to find Gary. What? You left you on your own? I'm OK, Mum. At least he's doing something, isn't he? Yeah. Thanks. Looks like it's just you and me for a cup of tea, then, eh? Well, not exactly. I was uh, thinking about putting some of these up around the shops, you know, where plenty of people can see them. On your own? I've got to start getting out. That won't be long. See you later. Yeah, all right. Come on, Kyle's. Good girl. Wine bottles all over the place, crisps and nuts trodden into the carpet. Bit of a late night, was it? Uh, yeah, something like that. Well, certainly looks as if you pushed the boat out. Had a few friends over. Oh, I see. Well, look, 
Just because I'm living here, I don't want you to feel you can't bring your friends round. In fact, I suppose your friends are my friends now, aren't they? <laughs> we can entertain them together. I hadn't thought of that. Yes. I think we make a pretty good team on the entertainment front, you and I. Oh, I take it I'm in Thomas's room. Yes, you are. Oh, splendid. Well, look, I'll um, just pop round and get the rest of my things from the bungalow. I'm not bringing everything, of course. In fact, hopefully, I'll have the place back to myself soon if the girls move into number nine. Anyway, when I've done that, I think you and I can make a start on cleaning up the place before you disappear. Actually, <coughs> David, I, I really don't have the time. Nonsense. We'll soon have this place ship shaped between the two of us. Teamwork, old son. That's the order of the day. Teamwork. Yeah. Teamwork. Smart, Jackie, I must say. Important meeting. She's seeing Paul Gascoigne. The footballer? The building society manager, actually. Ah. Is that all you're taking with you? Well, I can't take everything to Max, can I? I wouldn't be fair. So you're leaving that to see my fellow with us, then? Sorry? That thing there. Well, that is actually a statue of a Balinese god. I thought you young ladies would appreciate its artistic beauty. Um, wouldn't Max appreciate it more? No, 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 I insist you keep it here. Though I would point out it is rather a valuable piece, so please treat it with the respect it deserves. I'm afraid you'll just have to fight it out among yourselves over who gets to keep it in their room. Rachel. Rachel. <laughs> right, well, must press on. Yeah, I see ya. Right, I'd better go. Keep your fingers crossed. Oh, I will, Jack. It'll be great if you get that house. Make a change to be somewhere with a bit of room. I know, I can't wait. Yeah, I hope you get your mortgage, Jackie. Ta. I don't think I can stand much more of her creeping round me all the time. Mind you, forget that I should be creeping round being then, won't you? Can't see him letting her stay here, though. I don't know where she's gonna go. Well, she could always try the Betty Vogel, and it? You can't let her use it anymore, Casey. She's making a show of you as well as herself. Yeah, I know. I'll we'll have another word with her. Yeah, well, let's hope she listens this time, eh? Try. See ya. All right, Jack. Hiya. All right. How come you're holding up like a kipper, then? Um, I'm just on my way into town to meet someone. Oh, someone important, is he? Well, you could say that, yeah? Well, Good luck, Jacqueline. OK, thanks. Ta. Yeah, ta-da. Hey, what does she need good luck for? Well, she's off to see the building society manager. Oh, I wish I'd known that. Should have asked her for the lift. I'm on my way there myself. Are you still planning to put in a bid, then? I certainly am. And between me and you, Bing, I've got more chance of getting that place than Jackie has. Because you know where? Uh, I've got my capital up front, the entrepreneurial spirit. Ah, but you don't have Jackie's business experience and credentials, do you? From what I can gather, the building society are practically falling over themselves to offer her a mortgage. Hey, there's Sally. Should we go put some ribbons up over there, eh? <laughs> No, no, there's no other news, Dee. We've just got to wait for the trial now. Yeah, yeah, of course, I'll phone you. Yeah, OK. And you? It's an RD. Oh, no. I don't believe it. Have you seen that, eh? Look at her. Making out she still cares for our Michael. If she cared that much about searching for that no-mark husband of hers, he's the only one that can help get him out. Jimmy Corkle, she got off his fat backside and go look for him as well. They don't care what happens to our Michael. I tell you what, if it was her facing the trial, it'd soon make damn sure they had that Gary back here. Look at her. Look, bold as brass. Rubbing our noses in it. Right. Feel better now, do we, eh? This ease your conscience a little bit, does it? If you really cared about my son, you'd be out trying to find that lousy husband of yours instead of messing about with bits of ribbon. Where is he? I don't know. You must have some idea. I haven't even had to looking for him. So why aren't you out there with him? Oh, well, I just... Yeah, you just couldn't be bothered, is that it? Please, Mr Dixon, don't be like this. How do you want me to be? 
dancing a bloody jig while my son's still in prison. Please, crocodile tears. I want Mike back just as much as you. Oh, yeah. That's easy enough for you to say, isn't it, love? Now you're free. What's up with her? Guilty conscience. Hey. Well, she walks away scot-free and poor Mag's still in prison. Makes you wonder why I tell you they let go, doesn't it? How do you mean? Well, there's other ways to bribe prison warders other than giving them money, you know. Read about it all the time in the paper. What are you on about? Well, put it this way. I bet she knew the ceilings of that prison cell more than she knew the walls. You, you, are you saying that she went with someone in jail just to get released? Well, how come she got released and Mike never? Come on, love. We don't know that for sure, do we? You know, you don't have to talk some crap sometimes, you know, Bev. Well, how else do you explain why she suddenly gets released? Well, well I don't know, but Lindsay would never do that. You can't prove it, though, can you? I'm not listening to any more of this. You know, if they ever bring back Jack and Ori, I'll put you up for it, eh? Well, it does sound a bit far-fetched, doesn't it? I wouldn't put anything past a cork, Hill. Do you want a drink, Kate? No, Tar. Shouldn't you be out looking for a job? Um, yeah, well, I'm just making a drink, and then I'll go down the job centre. Taking Louise with you? Um, well, I was wondering. Sammy, this has got to stop. You can't keep Palm and Louise off on me. It's not fair. She's going to start to wonder which one of us is her mum. Oh, look, Kate, I've said I'm sorry about the way I've been behaving lately, but I have been upset over owning that, and I am trying to find a job, honest. Like you're trying to find somewhere else to live? Yeah, well, it's hard to find a landlord who'll take single parents in. Well, you'll have to find something. If Jackie gets that house, there's no way Mr Crosby will let you stay here. You know that, don't you? Yeah, well, I thought I could persuade him. Well, there'll be lots more room when you lot move out, won't there? Sammy, you've got to stop using other people all the time. You've got to start taking responsibility for yourself and Louise. You're not some 16-year-old who can go out and cop off when she wants. You've got a kid to look after. Yeah, I know. I will make more of an effort, honest. No, you better mean it this time. Because if you don't, I'm going to report you to the social services. What? you do that to me, your own sister? Well, I wouldn't have any choice, would I? You'll just be proving again that you can't look after Louise properly. I mean it, Sammy. This is your last chance. Right. That's about the last of my bits and pieces from the bunker, though. I've managed to find a place for just about everything, I think. Great. Right. We must get going. Oh, Max, before you go. What is it? Shopping list. Thought you might be able to pop into the supermarket on your way home. Of course, you can get the vegetables from your storeroom, can't you? Actually, David, I think I'll be a bit busy. That's been your problem, you know. What has? Neglecting yourself. You're not eating properly. David, I eat in the restaurant every day. Exactly. That's why your fridge is empty. You don't even have a pint of milk in it, you know. Mind you, I do understand, Elsa. Understand what? Well, not wanting to come home to an empty house and eat alone. I enjoy eating in the restaurant. Tell you what, I'll make us a nice casserole tonight. No, really. Yes, we'll dine together and maybe have a game of chess afterwards. How does that sound? I don't think... Oh, what time shall I expect you? I really can't say. No problem. Just give me a ring when you're leaving so I know when to put the potatoes on. But don't forget the shopping. Come on, Mummy. Come on, Mummy. Lindsay? Mm. Hey, Kyle. Uh, hey, Lindsay, come on here. It's only me. Same bad. Hey, come on, let's get you down to see your mum and dad. Come on. Well, look, uh, we can stay here like this if you want, but I think people will begin to talk. Come on, let's get you on. Come on, Tim. Come on. Come on, Kylie. We'll see your granddad, eh? Come on, love. We we'll should have you all. You all right? Jimmy! You all right, babes? What's up? What's happened? I just found him in the ante room. Come on, love. Oh, thank God. I thought you said you wouldn't be gone, love. What's happened? I don't know, love. I just found it in the pathway, Jack. Come on. Come on, sweetheart. You're all right. You're home now, love. I'm sorry. I can't do it. I thought it'd be all right. I just couldn't move. Well, you're all right now, love, because you're home, aren't you? Yeah, you're all right, love. 
Okay, I'll show Auntie Katie the picture you've done for her. Oh, thanks, Louise. Is that me? Hiya, Jack. Hiya. What's the fellow at the building society say then? Well, I've got my mortgage and I also need the house to go with it. Oh, mate, off for you, Jack. Yeah, so am I. Listen, I'm going to nip the shop to get the echo, see if there's any flats going. Do you want anything? Um, could you get us some more Adam's juice? I'll give you the money when you get back. No, you're all right. I'll get it. Do you want anything, Jack? No, Tom. All right, it won't be long. Come on, Lou. See, she's still keeping up the act. She'll get a bafted at this rate. I think she means it this time, Jack. She went the job centre this morning. Oh, I don't tell me. They didn't have anything. Well, no, but at least she's making the effort. I just hope she can find herself a flat. I mean, I know she's not really been trying, but it's not easy with her being a single parent, is it? No one will take her on. Hey, hang on. You're not angling for me to change my mind about her moving in with us if I get number nine, are you? No, of course not. Anyway, what do you mean, if you get number nine? Don't you mean when? <sighs> yeah, well, I'm not so sure now. Guess who I've seen down the building society? Who? Simbat. Looks like he's as set on getting this house as I am. Well, could be a way to put him off buying it. Like what? Come on. Where are we going? We're going to get the key off Mo for number nine. Then we're going up to shops. What for? You'll see. It's only me. Thought you may fancy a cup of tea. in a bit. Listen, love. It's bound to take time to adjust. You try to run before you can walk. I mean, you can't expect to just come back and carry on as normal, can you? Not after what you've been through, love. I know. It's just... I don't know. I... It's not like how I imagined it'd be to be back home. It's just, I'd still want to be here, but... It's strange. Everything's so strange. They don't come much stranger than your dad did. <laughs> no. But take it, he never found Gary. He's not giving up looking there, love. Is Kylie OK? Oh, yeah. She fell asleep on our bed. Do you want to come downstairs? No, not yet. All right, love. Just come down when you're ready, all right? Prison does funny things to people, sin, I've seen it. And that's the prisons in this country. Much worse for our Lynn's being stuck out in that hole in Thailand. I'm telling you, there's grown men couldn't put up with the much he has. Poor kid. Are you sure it was just being outside that made her throw a wobbly? How do you mean, like? Do you promise you won't do anything daft if I tell you? <laughs> tell me what? Promise, Jimmy. Oh, yeah, yeah, promise. Come on. I think Ron Dicko and Bev had been giving it a bit of stick. What, again? The little... No, now, hang on, Jimmy. I don't know for sure. It's just that, well... What was said? Come on, Sin, tell me. How is she? She just wants to be on her own for a bit. Come on, what was said? What did you say? It's just... Sorry, open me big gob now. It's just Bev staring it all up and spreading stupid rumours. Yeah. About what? About your Lindsay. What rumours? That she. Well, you know. She what? That she went with somebody in that jail to get released. They are. I told you it was stupid, didn't I? They said that! You what? Right, that is it. Jimmy! Now, hang on, Jimmy, you... They are not getting away with that. No way! Jimmy! How could they say that, eh, about our Lindsay? Now, Jimmy, just leave it. I've already had a go with them about it. Now, forget it. They're not worth it. Would make me feel better, though, wouldn't it? Well, I'll tell you something. I may have caused them grief in the past, 
But that'll be nothing compared to the grief I'll give them if they say one more word about our Lindsay. Preheat the immersion to a moderate temperature. And take one large kipper. Oh, Kate, it stinks. Place it gently behind the water tank, ensuring it's well hidden under the jacket. Now, you leave it to heat through for a few days until the unique aroma filters around the house. And voila, keep a surprise. Because <laughs> it'd be a surprise if anyone in the right mind would buy this place with that stink. How did you come up with that? My mum used to be an estate agent years ago. It's an old trick people use to put potential buyers off. It's brilliant. See, I do have my uses. Oh, Casey, we can't do this, though, can we? It's wrong. Yeah, we can. <laughs> right, well, I think I've caused enough damage for one day. No, you did the right thing telling us then. At least if we hear people gossiping, we'll know who started the rumours. Flaming Dixon. That gobby cow Bev's no better. Yeah, well, I'll, uh, see you later. Hold on, Sim. Why don't you stay for your tea? Oh, no, I don't want to be in the way. Eh, uh, you won't be. Come on. Anyway, about time we buried the attitude. Well, I'm sure I won't be in the way. Behave. Anyway. Better than scoffing that diet with rubbish of Mick Johnson, is it? You know how to twist a man's arm, Jimmy. I'll tell you what, why don't I go and get us all a takeout? I mean, you look done in, save your cooking and that. That's really nice, love, yeah. Do you think your Lindsay will be up for eating anything? I'm kind of something anyway. Thanks, mate. I'll well, see you in a bit then. See you, love. I don't think our Lindsay will be able to face any food. Don't even know if she's going to come out of her room. What the hell's that prison done to her, Jimmy? Hey, hey, come on, love. Just want the old Lindsay. Hi. Hi. See, it's just me and you for the auction, eh? Yeah, well, no one else seems interested. Well, I hope you're a good loser. Oh, didn't you know I never lose him, lad? What's over your face? Not. Come on, there's something wrong with you. My flies aren't on, don't I? No, there's not enough. Just ignore it. Oh, come on, there's something fishy going come on, on here. Casey. Max, you said you'd ring me to let me know when you were leaving work. I'm sorry, I forgot. I'd have put the potatoes on ages ago. Oh, never mind. You got the shopping? Yes. Something else I forgot. I'm sorry. Oh, for heaven's sake. It wasn't too much to ask, was it? Well, I have had other things to do today, David. Yes, and I've got a home to run. Yeah, I know, and I... I said I was, uh, sorry. What's this? Ah, yes, I've taken the liberty of drawing up a roster for duties around the house, you know. Tuesdays, you're down for shopping. Haven't made a very good start on that one, have we? Wednesdays, I do some cleaning. Thursdays, you do the washing. I'm sorry, David. Friday, can we, we just stop, please? All right, all right. I'll do the washing. No, no, no. I mean, stop <laughs> all this nonsense about rotors and shopping this and God knows what else. It's like living with a scoutmaster. Well, you did ask me to move in, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I know I did, but... Look, look, all I want to do right now is just sit down, put my feet up and have a nice large glass of wine. Right. Well, before you do that, perhaps you'd mind giving this a stir while I nip down to the shops and get all the items you've forgotten. Yes, sir, Kayla. Dip, dip, dip. Hiya, love. You all right? I am. Hello, love. How are you feeling? Good, guys. Yeah, oh, come on. Sit down next to you, little fella, girl. Simba's just gone the chippy. Don't want you flagging, do we? Think you can manage something? Yeah, I feel quite hungry, actually. Nice one. Oh, yeah. There's the scram man now. Why are you feeling better, love? Yeah. Right. Hi, right, Jim. Hi, Lynn. How are you feeling? All right. I'm sweet, are you, sir? Oh, go away, behave. No, come on. No, it's on me. Here you go. Nice one, too. Well, Thanks, thank mate. Lynn's, come on, love. There you go. Cheers. Come on, kid, fill your boots, eh? Oh. Fancy nipping down the swamp later on, Sim? Have a quick pint? I think that's the kind of diet I like. Chippy tea, a few ales. Mick Johnson, you don't know what you're missing. I can't eat this. Tub love. Not hot enough. What the hell am I doing just sitting here eating fish and chips? Listening to you going on about drinking down the pub like everything's normal? What are you gonna do? 
Drink to Mike's health while you're down there. Cheers, Mike. Sorry you're in jail and all that, but at least we're all right. Linz. It wasn't for you. You wouldn't even be in jail in the first place. And now you expect me just, just to sit here pretending everything's okay? Well, it's not thanks to you. Mike, you should be with him now. Come on, love. Don't you understand? Mike's going to court in six weeks' time, and, and it's all your fault, Dad. It's just you and Gary just want some easy money. You've ruined our lives. Hey, what are you doing the windows of this place for? It's empty. I'm doing them because I want them to look clean for when I move in. You're wasting your time there, aren't you, Sinbad? Ah, Jackie's getting this place. She's a proper businesswoman now, you know, got loads of capital behind her. You'll be lucky if you can top what she's gonna bid, I'm telling you. Yeah, well, you've got to keep your head at these auctions, haven't you? And you're Jackie, young girl, I think a bottle will go. Oh, why? See that? That's my limit. I'm prepared to pay cash. Yeah, well, we'll just have to wait and see at the auction on Friday, won't we? And, hey, when our Jackie does move in, don't you be charging her for having cleaned them windows. Hiya. Hi. Who are you looking at? Von Dixon. You know something? I should go out there and land him one for what he said about our Lindsay, the cheeky just sod. Just keep your voice down, Billy. She's gonna hear you. Is he still out there? No, no. He's gone back into his own house now. Come on, let's go over there and just put his windows in. No, Jimmy, don't do anything. Look, Simbad's right, isn't he? Just ignore them. They're not worth <sighs> it. It'd be a lot easier to ignore them if they kept the big gob shut. Yes, I know, but they won't, will they? Has Lindsay been down yet? No, she's still in the room. See how she is. Writing to Mike again? I'm trying to. I just don't know what to say to him. I can't keep saying I'm sorry, Mike. That's not going to do much good, is it? What am I supposed to say, Mum? What about sending him some stuff over instead? You know, things he'll really need. Well, that'll show him you're still thinking about him and that you care. Look, love, you can say no if you don't want to, but why don't you come to the shops with me? Well, you can pick out what you want to get. Oh, I don't know, Mum. Well, I'll be there to hold your hands. I don't know, but what if I'm like I was yesterday? And what if you're not? Look, I don't want to force you, Linz, but, but 
You won't know if you don't try, will you? Is my dad all right? Oh, he'll be all right. You didn't tell him anything he doesn't know already, you know. Now, come on. The longer you leave at Lynn's, the more scared you're going to be. You'll end up like that Howard Hughes fella. <laughs> That's better. Now, will you come to the shops with your mum? Yeah. I thought you said you were going to have another look inside, but not through the window. Yeah, I was. But then the estate agent turned up and he's showing a couple round. And he'll probably show another couple round of Savvy. Now, I don't even know why I bothered thinking about buying this place. Come on, Sin, you can't be like that. Yeah, well, Jackie Dixon will probably put an higher bid in for it anyway. God knows who else is going to make a bid for it. Hey, come on, Sin, you can't give up now. You've already splashed out on a load of furniture. I mean, it would be a waste of money, wouldn't it? Yeah. Anyway, mate, and if you don't get this place, it's not like it's the only house in town. Yeah, but it's the only one round here that I know of that's going for a song, isn't it? You don't know for sure that Jackie Dicko's going to put in a higher bid, though, do you? Yeah, well, I suppose you're right. Listen, mate, I better shoes for the shop. Catch you yeah. later. See you later. Nearly afternoon, actually. Oh, right. Good afternoon, then. I would have bought you a cup of tea in bed, but I didn't like to wake you. Well, you did. No wonder you're tired. Coming back all hours in the morning, it must have been nearly two o'clock. Oh, was it? I, I don't honestly remember. Mm. Going to do the same tonight, are you? Coming home for supper, then dashing back out again? I don't really know. What on earth were you up to till that hour of the morning? Oh, I had a, <clears throat> a few drinks in the restaurant afterwards with some friends. Oh, really? Which friends were these? Eleanor and Sarah. You were out till two o'clock in the morning with two women? David, they're both happily married. I've known them since uni, and even if they weren't, does it really matter? Actually, Max, I think it does matter, really. You are still a married man, need I remind you? Mm -hmm. Have you spoken to Patricia and the children lately? Yes, I found her yesterday. Alice is learning how to swim, and Thomas has learned 13 French swear words. Anything else you need to know before I go for a bath? You don't have to adopt that term with me, Max. I was merely concerned with what happened to you last night. Well, that's very good of you, David, but I would appreciate it if you didn't act like the Spanish Inquisition after I'd been out. This is my house, after all. I can do whatever I like. All right. All right, Jim. So you, Lindsay got up before. How was she all right? Yeah, a bit brighter. She's gone to the shops with the ma'am. She'll be all right. Mm. What's up? That couple there. The estate agent's just showing them round number nine. Well, you've come out holding the noses, complaining about a smell. It was stinking there. Well, maybe Eddie Banks left a sweaty sock lying round. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, there's only one way to find out. There you are. That wasn't too bad, was it? Oh, I felt better being with you. <laughs> Listen, if you're feeling up to it, you can come with me to the nursery and pick Kylie up if you want. Yeah, let's see, eh? Yeah. Um, listen, love, why don't you go in? I'll be with you in a minute. Yeah, all right. You've got some nerve, I'll give you that. You what? You know what I mean. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, so you've conveniently forgotten what you said about Sir Lindsay, have you? Like what? Like saying she slept away out of that prison in Thailand. Free country, isn't it? I can say what I want. You've got a sick mind, you know that. I'm only saying what everyone else is thinking. Well, it's got to be in there somewhere. Do you reckon? Oh, hey, reeks. You know what that is, don't you? Oh. That's the Al Kipper behind the hot water tank routine, isn't it? I'm not oh, telling me to do yeah, the choice. Yeah, the choice. So that's what Casey and Jackie were up to, eh? Right? The little minxes. Oh, no, I've nearly got it. Nearly. Nearly. No! Oh, what have you done? No! Burnt me finger! Hey, hang on, Jimmy. Other than Jackie and Katie, we're the only ones that know about this, aren't we? So if anyone else comes to look at the house, they'll be put off buying it. Yeah, good thinking, that, mate. All I've got to do now is think of a way of putting Jackie Dixon off buying the place. No, she's bought the kipper, not the place. You get worse. I know you think you are, but you could be like that. I haven't even started Jackie. You've always had a Sounds like my Jackie, that. Come on. Well, maybe that's got something to do with the fact that you're a gang of drug dealers. 
Mike wouldn't be where he is today if it wasn't for your family. I mean, it's just like having the mafia on your doorstep. And you're so perfect, aren't you? And what's that supposed to mean? Going with your feathered son and having his kids. Don't you dare talk about my Josh like I'm that! Yeah, 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 Jackie, what's going on? Ask her, she's the one who started it. It's me. It's you, you cheeky mate. You started it. This has got nothing to do with me. Yes. Well, you were the one spreading lies about my daughter. Jackie. How could you say such a thing? Jackie! What? Say what about me? Nothing, love, nothing. Take the notice of her. She's warped. Warped? I'll warp your head in a minute. Oh, yeah, and I'd like to see you drunk. Don't you tell me. What the hell's going on here? Beverly, pack it in. I want to know what she said about love, me. Take no notice of her. She's just staring at me. What did you say about me? As if you didn't know. Bev. Don't you dare. Will someone please just tell me what's going on? What did you say about me? Come on. Don't you say a word, Bev. Why not? It's all true, isn't it? Beverly. What's true? It's not just me. Everyone's saying it. You're only here today because you slept your way out of that jail. Well, that's why they let you go, isn't it? And you couldn't give a toss about leaving poor Mike behind. Whoa. Oh, save the big act, you vindictive little bitch! <laughs> oh, oh, did you see that? You, you bunch of gangsters! You, you just can't keep that shut, can you? Oh, you, she nearly broke my cheekbone! Well, you're lucky she never broke your legs. <laughs> oh, go on, you've had your say. Uh, have you for GBH? Hey! And what are you all looking at? Do you know? If you wanted to kick somebody when they're down, you couldn't have done a better job. I just hope you're proud of yourself. And what am I supposed to have done? You've just started World War Three. That's what you've done. Come on. It's like this all the time round here, you know. Mind you, you get used to it after a while. She's off her head, kid. Does everyone think I did what she said I did? Of course they do. And how do you know they don't? Because people have got more sense. They might not say it, but they think it. Lynn's they don't, love. I don't think I want to face any of them ever again. None of them. David, I'm sorry just to land on you like this, but I didn't know what else to do. I've been trying to get in touch with Max all day. Are you in some sort of trouble? Oh, you could say that. We're homeless. I've been thrown out of my flat, and I haven't been able to find anywhere else. Well, where exactly does Max fit in? Well, uh, I was wondering if he could put us up here. It would only be for a few nights, of course. Honestly, Susan, this just isn't on, you know. I know. Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't dream of coming round here, but I honestly haven't been able to find another flat. I'm stuck. Look, I realise that Max is Matthew and Emily's father. That shouldn't mean he has to bail you out every time you get yourself into a fix. I don't enjoy having to rely on Max, but sometimes he has to face up to his responsibilities. But it isn't just sometimes, is it? <sighs> You're right. It's unfair of me to expect Max to help. I'm sorry for troubling you. I'll uh, try and find a bed and breakfast somewhere for me and the children. Wait. You might as well hang on here until he gets back. He, he shouldn't be long. But please, don't expect him to be as understanding as me. If he asks you to leave, then I'm afraid I'm going to have to respect his wishes. Of course. <laughs> Sam was angling to come for a drink with us. Yeah, of course she was, but you can't very well push it with you, can she? After what I said to her yesterday, no. She's still on her best behaviour. I wonder how long she'll keep playing Mother Teresa for. Oh, are yeah. Um, sounds like there was a couple of people looking around the house today. Yeah, but I don't think they'll be going after it, though. How come? Well, they came out of there complaining about the smell, didn't they? Yeah. Oh, yeah, now you come to mention it. We noticed the smell when we looked around it, didn't we, Casey? Yeah, it was quite bad, actually. You know what it is, don't you? What? Dodgy plumbing. 
Eddie Banks told Mick that he's had all kinds of trouble ever since he had that flood in the garden, didn't he, mate? Yeah, said it cost a fortune in plumbers trying to sort it, you know. Yeah? Oh, well, I'll just have to get me dad to do with his hands, you like that? Yeah, it's not just an ordinary DIY job, you know, Jackie. I mean, it's gonna cost thousands. I mean, I'm having second thoughts about going after it. Yeah, well, I'm not too sure about going after it myself now. It doesn't seem like much of a bargain to me. Come on, Casey, you better go. See, see ya. See ya. Yeah, see ya. Do you think they sussed us? Nah, he's bluffing, isn't he? Do you think they've sussed us? Nah, he's bluffing. Right. Time to get on with part two of Operation Housey Housey. What do you mean? Well, I've got to pick up a few essential things from here, get over to number nine, because we might need Jimmy's help as well. Well, what are you going to do? Wait and see. It was a lovely supper, David. You certainly are a dab hand in the kitchen, aren't you? Oh, I get by, I suppose. Well, uh, thanks. The children were famished. I must also be pretty tired. Oh, come on, Max, where are you? Look, Susanna, this is ridiculous. They're obviously exhausted. There's no point in keeping them up any longer. They can have the spare bedroom. Well, isn't that where you are? No, I'm in Thomas's old room, actually. Well, <laughs> you might as well bed down there. Where are you going to sleep? Well, I'll be all right on the sofa. After all, it's only for a couple of nights. Oh, I can't let you do that. No, 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 I'll be fine, really. Oh, it's very good of you, David. Oh, that's probably Max now. <sighs> Come on, Tweedledum, Tweedledee, bedtime. Hello. Patsy. <laughs> How are you, my darling? Uh, good, good. Look, uh, can you uh, hold on a minute? Right. Uh, can you uh, manage all right? I think so. <sighs> Give my love to Patricia, won't you? Patsy. Sitting on her bed. She looks terrible. Oh, I could strangle her, Bev. I know I shouldn't have said anything, but it was the way she looked at us, Jim. I just couldn't help myself. I just saw it. I've let everyone down, haven't I? Especially our lens. Look, don't be blaming yourself. It's her over the road. She's got a mouth like a sewer, that one. What are you, Jim? This is all the cash we've got left from that last lot of gear that Gary sold. I'm going to give it to Ron. Is that all of it? Yeah, nearly 12 grand there. <sighs> Go sick if he knew where it came from. No, yeah, he's not going to find out, is he? So what I'm going to do is hand it over to him to help pay for their Mike's legal fees, just like I promised. And then that is it. We're not having any more to do with them, not after today. But what about the campaign for Mike? We can't just drop it. We owe it to Ron. They're on their own from now on. We can't do that. I mean, what's that saying to our Lindsay? We'll cross that bridge when we come to her. Hi, Zach. Come with the money. Sorry, my bit, Isaac. It's all right. Three quid, yeah? Um, it's one week, isn't it? Yeah. It's all right. OK, thanks, Jack. <laughs> and listen, I'm just going to go and see Cracker. Oh, she's just a bit, you know, Pat and Mick. Well, not over me geraniums, I hope. No, 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 I won't be long. Do you know, sometimes I wonder if you think more of that soft mud than you do with me. Right, my darling. Love to the children and to your mother. Right, I'll talk to you soon. Lots of love. Bye. Ah, that was uh, Patricia on the phone. So I gathered. She and Max uh, phone each other constantly, you know. Heaven knows what the phone bill will be like. I mean, they talk for hours almost every night. Really? How sweet. Ah, that could be Max now. No, someone else's car. Hello? Something wrong? I'm sure I've seen someone in the Banksy's old house. Yes. There's someone shining a torch. Susanna, would you mind phoning the police? Tell them there's an intruder at number nine Brookside Close. I'll try and apprehend them now in case the police don't get here in time. David, they could have guns or knives or anything. Stay here. Don't worry. 
I'll get Ron Dixon to give me a hand. David, don't! Come on, come on. Hang on, will you? Yeah. I just don't mix keeping Dixie downstairs. Oh, William. Quite good he's two shoes at times, isn't it, that fella? Listen, make sure you get it all in, you know. Are you sure this is going to put people off, like? Oh, too, right, yeah. Get that in the head of the tank. You've got brown water, do you think? The drains are off. Mm. Aye, 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 aye. Get that out of the way, will you? Like a bloody disco in here with you. Oh, all right, let's do it, yeah. Go on, just let can get up there. Yeah. Oh, Christ. Oh. I think they're still in there. Nev, I'll be fine, but you stay here with our Josh. Don't do anything daft. Looks like they got in through the back way. Come on. Hang on, Brink. Do you think this is wise? Still in there. You see, I got in through the back. Come on. Hang on, Brink. There you go. All done. Right. Now, let's see if it works. Bingo. Jimmy, there's someone outside. Watch out. They're in the house. Hey, could be burglars. Burglars? Hey, Jimmy, Jimmy, be careful. Bing. Don't just lash out at them, mate. Wait till we see the whites of their eyes. Right. Ron! Sit there. Oh, man, I know you be behind this. What are you doing in our Jackie's house? Hey, well, hang on a minute. It's not your Jackie's house yet, you know. What the hell's that stench? Blimey, you're knocking for six, that. Ooh. What on earth are you doing here? Well, we, uh, well, we, we thought we saw somebody in here. Yeah. yeah. So why break in, then? Um, hold on, hold on a minute. I know what's going on here. You're trying to do something to this place to stop people buying it, aren't you? Look, look! I was right, guilt all over his face. Sin, that's slander there. Look, of course I'm not wrong. Anyway, it was. Well, you know, like we are, okay. Good, you swindling little. Oh, I better tell the police not to come. Sin, I'm very disappointed. I could have you arrested for this, you know. Oh, could you? Well, you better have your Jackie arrested as well. Why? Because what do you think the smell is? She put a kipper behind the hot water tank to put me off buying the place. A kipper? Oh, Jackie did that? It's yes. True. So go on, run. Put the ankles on. Anyway, <laughs> you find it a bit more relaxing than things at the rest. Susanna. Hello, Max. What are you doing here? We had nowhere else to stay. We? Matthew and Emily are upstairs asleep. Perhaps we'd better go. Um, Perhaps um, another time, Max. Liz, um, yeah, all right, I'll... Yeah, see you later, Max. All right, I'll speak to you tomorrow, Simon. Good night. Good night. Bye. David, uh, what's going on? Uh, David, is everything all right? Yes, yes, it was just a false alarm. Please, excuse me, will somebody please tell me, what is going on here? Max, Susanna and the children had nowhere else to go. And if you ever came home of an evening instead of gallivanting around, we might have been able to sort out some alternative arrangements. Susanna, I thought I told you last week, there's no room here. Believe me, Max, I had nowhere else to go. Well, what about a cheap hotel or a bed and breakfast? Oh, for heaven's sake. You wouldn't want your own children in some grubby, squalid bed and breakfast, would you? No, of course not. It's just, uh... Well, we don't have enough space here for a start. Well, I can sleep on the sofa for now. Max, it is only for a few nights. Oh, really? Promise. Look, why don't we turn in, have a good night's sleep, and talk about this in the morning? And perhaps you could see the children, then. They were really looking forward to spending the evening with their father. We didn't realise you'd be out so late. I'm sorry. It's just... just unexpected, that's all. I think perhaps it's better if I go upstairs now. 
I'll see you in the morning. Night. Night, Susanna. Good night, Max. Good night. David, what the hell were you thinking of letting her in here? Don't you have any compassion at all? I'm fully aware of the awkwardness of the situation. What was I supposed to do? Chuck them out on the street? And anyway, aren't you overreacting just a little bit? They'll only be here for a couple of days, you know. Oh, yet yeah. That's what she'd have you believe, isn't it? But she's not going to be here for just a few days, David. She is like a spider spinning its web round a fly. And before you know it, you are lunch. If I know Susanna, she'll be here forever. <laughs>